Hey YouTube, what is up? And welcome back to tutorial number 33. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to use absolute positioning in HTML and CSS. But before we do anything, I actually just want to go over to my style sheet. And I, uh, as you can see, I'm using the exact same code that I had in the previous tutorial. So there is something I want to remove over here, and that is the fixed positioning okay so I'm going to remove that and then I'm just gonna save this and just so you guys can see what it looks like now and then compare have something com to compare this to at the end then uh, I'm just gonna run this in Firefox and as you can see right now we have our header and then our, our main section and then our footer exactly like we started off in the previous tutorial before we started positioning every anything okay so let's go over to Notepad, uh, notepad. and now what I want to do is under my main section styling we can set this background color to orange or any color you like really doesn't matter it's just so that we've got a background and then I want you to add in the position property again and we'll set this to absolute and then we can use our top and left properties just to position this anywhere we want on the web page so let's say we wanted to have it somewhere around 250 pixels and then um, we can have the left at 200 pixels okay and if we save this and then go back to Firefox and click refresh you'll see that this article is now going to like pop over to the side somewhere so let's go refresh and as you can see our article has actually moved all the way down to here so that is 250 50 pixels from the top so 250 pixels over here and then 200 pixels from the left so 200 pixels from here that is where our article starts okay and there's actually quite a few things that have actually changed over here and the first thing is that our footer instead of being at the bottom of our web page has actually moved up to take the place where our main section would have been before we used the absolute positioning okay and then the next thing is that our article is actually one layer higher than all of our other content and to show you that let's just go back to notepad and we can change our top and left properties again yes yeah? so let me just go ahead and change that to 50 and 100 and as you can see we can just move our content around however we want by using the top and left properties and now when I click refresh we can see our article has now jumped up to be 50 pixels from the top left corner and 100 pixels from the left in the top left corner so and like I said the article is now above one layer above the other two elements on our web page so it has been completely pulled out of the flow of the document and has been positioned absolutely where it is so that's how you use absolute positioning in HTML and CSS and that's all I have for you guys in this video so I will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time